The next installment in the Get Your Comms Up series is going to be a how-to video. We're going to talk about making your own shortwave long wire antenna. Again, I really think that communications is an absolute critical skill set for your preparedness plan. At the very bare minimum, you should have the ability to listen to radio communications locally, regionally, continentally and worldwide. Now this video is aimed at those that want to add communications to their preparedness uh, plan but don't have an intent on getting their ham radio license and getting further involved in uh, radio communications. My short answer to that is I would encourage you to get your ham radio license and I'd encourage you to start working on more advanced radio communications but if you don't have an intent on doing that, at least get a shortwave receiver that has AM, FM capability. More importantly, one that has single sideband capability. I also like to have a radio that I can plug an external antenna into. So those are sort of the basic criteria that I would consider. There's a lot of um, sort of Swiss Army knife radios out there that have a little teeny solar charger, a hand crank, an alarm, a flashing light, and um, a little flashlight. And I would recommend that you get a radio that does what it's designed to do, and that is to be a receiver. Now, for a long time in my uh, go bag, I always had a, a little shortwave AM FM radio. And I keep this um, because I still think it's useful, but what what a little um, radio like this lacks is the ability to have a single sideband and that's going to be very very important. Here's how this um, antenna worked. You could either extend the little whip antenna and with this proprietary clip you could attach this long wire and extend it. Now this looks like a nice little package. It's in a little reel, almost like a little fishing reel that you can then wind up in reality, when I did this a number of times, I just found that reeling the wire up in this was a little bit more on the cumbersome side, and it's also not as long as I wanted. But it's a nice little set. This radio has another feature that I think is important, and that is the ability to plug in an external antenna. Rather than a clip, I can plug directly into this external port and extend the antenna. So this is the radio that I'm using now. It's the Texan PL880. It is the big brother to the Texan PL660. What I like about this radio, it has a lot of the features that this radio has, but it also has single sideband capability. And I really like the tuning and it's very sensitive. You don't need to get this radio. I'm just showing this as the option that I have. There are a lot of radios on the market that you can get. What I would recommend, do a Google search, look for shortwave, single sideband, and then pick something that has a good review that's in your price point. Now I carry the Texan PL880 plus my uh, current shortwave long wire antenna in this pouch right here. This is one of our Amp3 uh, Molly pouches. Inside here I have two zipper nylon bags. So this is the radio, and this is the antenna. We're going to talk about building this antenna in a minute. Let me just quickly show you what's in the radio bag, and I plan on doing a couple of videos in the very near future just focusing on this radio bag and the Texan PL880. And the reason I like this bag is it carries everything I need to operate this radio both for uh, voice and for digital. I have a couple of lock sack bags that have some accessories that are useful. Now this is the little long wire antenna that comes with the Texan PL880. You've got a nice little wire antenna that plugs in, but I've built a little bit more robust antenna with a longer wire um, so I can keep this with radio or store it separately if I want, but this is uh, useful and I find it a lot easier to wind it up on this type of device than this type of device, but these two are the typical proprietary 
uh, long, wa long wire antennas that come with these radios. Now I've added to this a little lock sack bag that carries, this is a Griffin iMic, and this is basically a USB line in, and this is what I use to hook the Texan to my computer via the USB port, and then this dual audio cable, I plug it into the in part on the iMic, and then the line out jack, which is the green jack on the Texan PL880. And this is how I use uh, the Texan with my laptop and FL Digi to listen to digital communications. So the other bag has the uh, charging cable that came with the radio. It's a USB to USB mini. And uh, with this power supply and a USB adapter on the Anderson power pole, I can charge this radio. I can charge it via a um, car charger, or I can charge it with an AC adapter. There's also um, a set of earphones. I keep everything in a lock sack bag. They're waterproof and dustproof and provide good uh, protection. The last thing that's in the uh, bag is the instruction manual and uh, Texan really puts out a nice instruction manual that I found pretty helpful. So there's a big fold out quick user guide for the uh, Texan. Now we talked about having a couple of digital clocks, one for local time and one for UTC. And what I've done with the Texan is I've set the clock not to local time but to UTC time. That way when I take the radio out and get ready to use it, I always have a reference for UTC or Zulu time. But one thing I like about it, it's very easy to operate and I like the big tuning knobs and um, it's, it, it has a nice feel in hand but it's not too big and bulky and it's very easy to carry. So this is what I've been carrying in my briefcase and that's it. I will add to that my other bag with the shortwave antenna that I made and that's going to be the substance of our next video.